Congratulations! You have taken Terra, proclaimed the translated text, laser etched into the brass plated replica of the faded and yellowed fragile paper held within the glass enclosure. The phrase Terra had a hollow annotation indicating that Terra was the name of the human homeworld in their common ancestral tongue, meaning dirt, as all known sapiens tend to name their homeworlds. The text continued, but can you hold her? We have been fighting amongst ourselves since the day we left the safety of our trees, savannas and caves to answer that very same question. To the victors go the spoils, or so the saying says. I am absolutely certain the fighting was brutal, and I am sure that you took to the war with honour and claimed your victory fair and square. As all things go in love and war, nothing is off the table. But we have most likely seen all manner of horrors you may have brought to bear on us, and have likely unleashed it on ourselves in our own squabbles. Chemical, biological, radiological, psychological. We have done it all, and will likely do it all again, and again, along with whatever new and exciting atrocities we come up with along the way, long after I am naught but dust. So let this long dead jackass warn you. Humanity? We are spiteful by nature. We may be cowed and beaten now, forcefully integrated into your culture, but we will never forget what you did to us. We may seem docile now, but we took our one-time predator species and turned them into faithful companions, and have held multi-thousand year grudges. There used to be several different sapient hominid species on our cradle rock, with such a lovely view of the stars in our quiet corner of this galaxy. Good luck. P.S. Now, this is important, and don't gloss this over, my friend. If you took our world by force, and killed everyone in the taking, I highly suggest you take a long moment to consider the following question. Are you absolutely certain that you really got all of us? With the translation ended, the plaque continued for a few lines more. Donated to the Grand Hegemony Museum of Conquest by Private First Class Narlash of the First Guard Army, who served with distinction during the scouring of Terra and her colonies, the marking the beginning of the hegemony of the Hundred's Conquest over the Alton Cetacean Spur of the Andromeda Galaxy and the Hundred Hadwell Systems within. <laughs>